37 PSR is definitely a cool guy range, <laughs> so I never know who I'm going to end up sharing it with, especially on a day where I'm trying to feature a silencer. Today, it's JSOC and a circular saw. So I am in the very back of the range, hoping to get away from that enough that you're going to be able to hear this instead of other people shooting. Let's see if I have enough break. <laughs> That's really nice. That's impressive for being such a short can on a pistol. It still has a pop, but my ears are super sensitive to loud noises and that was totally fine. People know that I'm shooting something it's like a really loud cap gun, but it's definitely way quieter than unsuppressed. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. That itty bitty thing on the end of my Ruger 2245 was not a linear comp, which is very much what it looks like. It's actually the bitty silencer from Bowers Group. It's clearly not Hollywood quiet, though it is very much hearing safe, but you still might be wondering why does something like that even exist? If you knew Tom Bowers, the answer would be obvious. He is the guy in the entire silencer world that will make a can simply because he thinks it's a pretty cool idea and nobody else is doing it. Just take a look at my Verse 458. It is huge. It's so big that most silencer companies won't make a silencer like this. But Tom does, and that's why we have such a great option for suppressing 458 SOCOM. I could just see Tom looking at a box of rimfire like this and thinking, I bet I can make a silencer that will fit in that and still sound good. Well, he did make a silencer that can fit in this, and he sent me one of my very own to see if I thought it sounded good. And that's why the Bowers Biddies was coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Bowers Biddy is a 22 rimfire silencer rated for the various 22 magnums as well as 5.7, plus it's full auto rated in 22 long rifle. At only 2.8 inches long, it's the biggest silencer you can make that will fit inside a standard 22 long rifle ammo box, which is to say it's really, really short. It's also the smallest silencer that doesn't require wipes or shooting wet to be hearing safe on a pistol. To get its strength, the Biddy has steel baffles and a Cerakoted titanium tube. The mountain front end cap are both aluminum to help bring the weight down to 2.6 ounces. It comes standard with a 1 half by 28 direct thread mount for an MSRP of $325, though Bowers ATAS mount is also available for another $50. The end cap and mount are removable with the included wrench, and since the wrench flats are easily accessible when the biddy is mounted on a barrel, that wrench will make removing a stuck can a breeze. Inside the tube are three baffles straight from Bowers USS 22 rimfire can, plus an aluminum spacer that helps give the blast baffle a little more volume. The last baffle seats flush with the front end cap to ensure perfect alignment every time. The Biddy was optimized for shooting with CCI standard velocity, so that's what I'll be using for my testing. It's actually my favorite rimfire ammo because it's pretty accurate while being subsonic out of all of my hosts. Oop. Oh, I know what happened. Didn't have my mag fully seated. That's it. <laughs> that, was, that was operator error. That's super cool. The nice thing about Rimfire is it's cheap subsonic ammo. <laughs> I can shoot a whole lot of this and it's not gonna drain my bank account. <laughs> I love little cans like this, man. That is so cool, it's ridiculous. All right, 1022 time. This is gonna be a little bit quieter. That's a lot quieter. That's it. Wow. You know, it's barrel length makes a big difference for rimfire for pressure. And that, that extra barrel length really helps this can a whole lot. That's, that's fantastic. I'm shooting blades of wheatgrass 
it's really overgrown back here. They don't really use this part of the range. Thankfully, that's why I have a quiet place to go today. You know, this is quiet enough that you aren't gonna make your neighbors mad shooting this in your backyard. They'll know you're shooting, but this is definitely quiet enough. It shouldn't scare kids. It shouldn't make new shooters intimidated. As short as it is, it's still enough to take a lot of the kind of flinch inducing noise that I think is inherent in any gun when it comes to <laughs> showing a new shooter. Nice. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I'm mowing the grass. This sounds glorious. <laughs> That's really funny because, uh, when I drive fired just there, <laughs> one of those gunshots went off. I can't wait to see if that got picked up by the microphone. <laughs> so once again, this is quiet enough. You're not gonna bug your neighbors if they don't mind you shooting in your backyard. It's not so quiet. Oop, operator error short shug that it's not so quiet that they're not going to know you're shooting Oop, nope that's a stuck case not on me <laughs> uh, i think my gun's trying to tell me something <laughs> so as i was saying this is definitely no ear pro needed for you or a new shooter I'm getting stuck cases. I really need to clean this, I think. That's it anyway. As busy as the range was, I was still able to sneak a mag at 25 yards to see if the biddy had any impact on group size. Yeah, that second shot, that was a goober round because I had to really push it into the chamber. That's awesome. Doesn't impact accuracy at all. That's for sure. Is Bowers claiming that the Biddy is the quietest silencer on the market or anything like that? Heck no. But it is the shortest rimfire can that's hearing safe on a pistol without having to use a wipe or an ablative or anything like that. I find that pretty remarkable. Plus, it's Magnum and full auto rated. This thing fits inside of a rimfire ammo box. And if you're the kind of person that thinks that's pretty cool, I think you're gonna be happy with the Bauer Spitty. It does a great job of suppressing a rifle and it's hearing safe on a pistol, but not just that, it actually gives it a really nice sound that I had no problems tolerating with a lot of shooting that afternoon. If you wanna learn more about the Bauer Spitty, be sure to visit bowersgroup.com. Be sure to visit me on Facebook and Instagram. You can see the links right here. Be sure to sign up for my mailing list. It's the only way to stay in touch with me no matter what happens to my channel here on YouTube. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.